The Four Dimension Dragons, known also as the Four Heavenly Dragons in the Japanese, are a series of dragon-type monsters that each represent one of the four extra deck summoning techniques of the time. Fusion, Synchro, Xyz, and Pendulum. Their Japanese names of Heavenly Dragons is derived from the Four Heavenly Kings in Buddhist mythology. This is fitting as each of the Divine Kings was said to have watched over one of the four cardinal directions. North, East, South and West. This could be referenced by how the monsters each watch over the dimensions and the summoning styles that they belong to. The unique ability of these dragons is that each would learn how to evolve into a more powerful form and even be able to merge with each other to create a new, unique hybrid monsters. And when all four of the dragons come together, they're able to create their ultimate form, a monster with almost limitless power. In the anime, they originated from the fifth series of Yu-Gi-Oh, where in that story, there was an extremely powerful duelist named Zar who, while at first lived simply to entertain a crowd and make them smile, he slowly became corrupted by an audience that always wanted more. Eventually, he became cruel and a threat to everyone, as through the power of his four dragon companions, he was able to merge with them to become the Supreme King Dragon, Zark, and throw the world into chaos. <laughs> <laughs> With such a force threatening the people, it was decided that Zark would be split apart. However, doing so also split the world into four separate dimensions, each housing a different summoning technique and a fraction of Zark's personality. The fusion dimension would reincarnate Zark's desire for power into Yuri, who wielded the Starving Venom Fusion Dragon. The synchro dimension would reincarnate Zark's passion into Yugo, who wielded the Clearwing Synchro Dragon. The Xyz dimension would reincarnate Zark's vengeance into Yuto, who wielded the Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon. And the pendulum dimension would reincarnate Zark's entertaining spirit as Yuya, who wielded the Odd Eyes Pendulum. Dragon. In the real world, these cards would make their debuts each within their own packs that they themselves served as a cover cards for. Keep in mind that the Dimension Dragons are supported by four archetypes, the Odd Eyes, Magician, Performer Pal, and Supreme King. While I may reference some of the monsters from these archetypes, we are only going to be covering the Dimension Dragons and all their upgraded forms in today's video. But for now, let's take a look at each of the Dimension Dragons and see what they can upgrade and combine into. Starting with... Starting us off, we have the four original Dimension Dragons. Starving Venom, Fusion Dragon. Its effect is, if this card is fusion summoned, you can make this card gain attack equal to one opponent's special summon monster until the end of the turn. Once per turn, you can target one level five or higher monster your opponent controls until the end phase. This card's name becomes that monster's original name and replace this effect with that monster's original effect. If this fusion summon card is destroyed, you can destroy all your opponent's special summon monsters. Clearwing Synchro Dragon. Once per turn, when another level five or higher monster activates its effect on the field, quick effect it can negate the activation and if you do, destroy it. Once per turn, when a monster's effect is activated that targets one level 5 or higher monster on the field and no other cards, quick effect, you can negate the activation if you do, destroy it. If this card's effect destroys a monster, this card gains attack equal to the destroyed monster's original attack until the end of the turn. Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon. You can detach two materials from this card, then target one face-up monster your opponent controls, its attack becomes half its current attack. And if it does, this card gains the lost attack. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. If this card battles an opponent's monster, any battle damage this card inflicts to your opponent is doubled. Its pendulum effect is you could reduce the battle damage you take from an attack involving a pendulum monster you control to zero. During your end phase, you can destroy this card, and if you do, add one pendulum monster with 1500 or less attack from your deck to your hand. Each one of the Dimension Dragons has an alternative artwork from their originals, if the originals aren't to your fancy. And bonus, with Odd Eyes, you even get a third alternate art. It's probably worth bringing up because I haven't mentioned it yet. Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon originally was not a pendulum monster. Instead, it was just an effect monster. This was because it was the representation of the standard dimension. Basically, regular main deck monsters. After Yuya's Pendant reacted with the monster, it was transformed, bringing with it a new type of summoning, Pendulum. However, here's a cool what if. What if 
Yuya's pendant never did this. Well, then we might have seen Odd Eye's dragon evolve instead into Odd Eye's advanced dragon. Basically, it's a more powerful version of its base form in terms of level, attack, defense, and even its effect. Each of the original dimension dragons has a human magician form, which are always treated as their dragon counterparts whilst on the field. We have Purple Poison Magician, White Wing Magician, Black Fang Magician, and Double Iris Magician. Oh, and spoilers for the Dimension Dragon's final form, but there's even a Zark Magician. Notice as well that each Dimension Dragon follows a color scheme to match their summoning style. Purple for Fusion, white for Synchro, black for Xyz, and red for Pendulum. Why red, I hear you ask? Well, the red is derived from the right scale of a Pendulum card. But then you're gonna ask, well, what about the blue scale? Well, the blue scale would become a part of the manga counterpart of this card, Odd Eyes Phantom Dragon. So, anime Odd Eyes is the red scale, and manga Odd Eyes is the blue scale. Pretty cool, right? But Odd Eyes wasn't the only one to get a manga form. In fact, all four of the dragons are different. Instead, each being a hybrid pendulum monster that has an effect that differs from its anime form. Let's go for them all, shall we? First up, we have the Effect Pendulum, Odd Eyes Phantom Dragon, whose monster effect is, when this Pendulum Summon card inflicts battle damage to your opponent by attacking, you can inflict damage to your opponent equal to the number of Odd Eyes cards in your Pendulum Zones times 1200. Its Pendulum effect is once per turn when an attack is declared involving your face-up monster. If you have an Odd Eyes in your Pendulum Zone, you can make that monster you control gain 1200 attack until the end of the battle phase. Next, we have the Xyz Pendulum Hybrid, Dark Anthelion Dragon, whose effect is, if you can Pendulum Summon level 7, you can Pendulum Summon this face-up card in your extra deck. Once per turn, quick effect, you can detach one material from this card and target one face-up monster your opponent controls until the end of this turn, its attack becomes half its current attack. And if it does, this card gains that lost attack. If this card in the monster zone is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can place this card in your pendulum zone. Its pendulum effect is once per turn, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls, halve its original attack until the end of the turn. We have the Synchro Pendulum Hybrid, Clearwing Fast Dragon. Quick effect, you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls that was special summoned from the extra deck. Until the end of the turn, change its attack to zero. Also, negate that face-up monster's effects. If this card in the monster zone is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can place it in your pendulum zone. Its pendulum effect is you can send one face-up speedroid tuner and one face-up non-tuner monster you control to the graveyard, whose total levels equal seven. Special summon this card from your pendulum zone. Finally, we have the fusion pendulum hybrid, Starving Venomy Dragon. Its effect is you can target one face-up monster your opponent controls until the end phase. This card's name becomes that monster's original name and replace this effect with the original effect. Then that monster loses 500 attack and defense, and its effects are negated. And if it does, inflict 500 damage to your opponent. If this card in the monster zone is destroyed, you can place this card in your pendulum zone. And its pendulum effect is, each time cards on the field are sent to the graveyard, place one venomy counter on this card for each. All monsters on the field, except Dark Dragon Monsters, lose 200 attack for each Venomy counter on the field. Once per turn, you can reduce the battle damage you take from battle to zero. Due to Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon's Pendulum nature, it would be the most malleable of the four dragons, as it was able to adapt and transform into different summoning styles. In fact, it could adapt into a lot of different forms, such as transforming its dark attribute into light by creating the Odd Eyes Saber and Odd Eyes Lancer Dragons. It would also have a dark counterpart form to Lancer Dragon called Odd Eyes Wizard Dragon. And you remember the manga version of this monster? Phantom Dragon? Well, that also has an upgraded form called Odd Eyes Phantasma Dragon. And not only that, Yuya in the anime's first two pendulum scale monsters were Time Gazer Magician and Stargazer Magician, which would eventually evolve into their true forms when Zark returns, becoming Astrograph Sorcerer and Chronograph Sorcerer. Well, opposite to that, in the manga, Yuya's first scale monsters were instead two Odd Eyes Dragons, called Odd Eyes Persona Dragon and Odd Eyes Mirage Dragon. Odd Eyes would go on to have even more evolutions, one for almost every single style of monster, such as a normal pendulum form called Odd Eyes Arc Pendulum Dragon, a ritual form, Odd Eyes Gravity Dragon, five fusion forms, Odd Eyes Vortex Dragon, Beast Eyes Pendulum Dragon, Performer Pal Odd Eyes Metal Claw, Brave Eyes Pendulum Dragon, and Rune Eyes Pendulum Dragon, a synchro form, Odd Eyes Meteor Burst Dragon, and an Xyz form, 
Arai's Absolute Dragon. These forms are the result of Arai's wielder, Yuya, having mastered each of the summoning styles. However, what about the three counterparts to Yuya? Well, they also mastered their own summoning styles to create upgraded versions of their own monsters. Yuri's Starving Venom would become Greedy Venom Fusion Dragon, which also has a manga counterpart called Starving Venomy Lethal Dose Dragon. Hugo's Clear Wing would become Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon and would even gain an Excel Synchro form Crystal Clear Wing Synchro Dragon. And Yuto's Dark Rebellion would become Dark Requiem Xyz Dragon and would also have another upgraded form Arc Rebellion Xyz Dragon, a homage to his best friend's deck, Raid Raptors. There was another step further that the Dimension Dragons could go, and that was by uniting with each of their dimensional counterparts. When Yuya and Yuri united, they created a Pendulum Fusion hybrid monster called Odai's Venom Dragon, known in the Japanese as Odai's Venom Dragon, the Supreme King Violet Dragon. Its effect was, once per turn, you could target one face-up monster your opponent controls until the end phase. This card gains attack equal to its attack, and if it does, this card's name becomes that monster's original name, and replace this effect with that monster's original effects. If this card in the monster zone is destroyed, you can special summon one monster from your pendulum zone, and if you do, place this card in your pendulum zone. Its pendulum effect was once per turn, you can target one fusion monster you control, it gains 1000 attack for each monster your opponent controls until the end of the turn. When Yuya and Yugo united, they created a pendulum synchro monster called Odai's Wing Dragon, known in the Japanese as Odai's Wing Dragon, the Supreme King White Dragon. Its effect was, if this card in the monster zone is destroyed, you can place this card in your pendulum zone. You can target one effect monster your opponent controls, it has its effects negated until the end of this turn. During the battle phase, if you control this synchro summon monster, quick effect, you can destroy all level 5 or higher monsters your opponent controls. Its pendulum effect was once per turn, if your monster battles an opponent's monster, before damage calculation, you can make that monster you control gain attack equal to the current attack of the opponent's monster it's battling until the end of the damage step. When Yuya and Yuto united, they actually created three Pendulum Xyz monsters. The first being Odai's Rebellion Dragon, known the Japanese as Odai's Rebellion Dragon, the Supreme King Black Dragon. Its effect was if this card is Xyz summoned by using an Xyz monster as a material, destroy as many level 7 or lower monsters your opponent controls as possible, inflict a thousand damage to your opponent for each card destroyed, and if you do, this card can make three attacks during each battle phase this turn. If this card in the monster zone is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can destroy as many cards in your pendulum zone as possible. If you do, place this card in your pendulum zone. Its pendulum effect was once per turn. If you have no cards in your other pendulum zone, you can place one pendulum monster from your deck in your pendulum zone. The second was Odai's Rebellion Dragon Overlord, known the Japanese as Odai's Rebellion Dragon Overlord, the Supreme King Black Dragon. Its effect is this card that was Xyz summoned using a rank 7 Xyz monster as material can make a second and third attack during each battle phase. If this card in the monster zone is destroyed, you can place this card in your pendulum zone. Its pendulum effect was once per turn, you can special summon this card from your pendulum zone, and if you do, special summon one Rebellion or Phantom Knight's Xyz monster from your extra deck using this card as material. Then you can attach one card from your pendulum zone to it as a material. Finally, there was Odai's Raging Dragon, known in the Japanese as Odai's Raging Dragon, the Supreme King Blazing Dragon. Its effect was, if this card in the monster zone is destroyed, you can place it in the pendulum zone. If this card is Xyz summoned using Xyz monster as a material, it gains these effects. It can make a second attack during each battle phase. Once per turn, you can detach one Xyz material from it. Destroy as many cards your opponent controls as possible. And if you do, this card gains 200 attack for each until the end of the turn. Its pendulum effect is once per turn, if you have no cards in your other pendulum zone, you can place one pendulum monster from your deck in your pendulum zone. If you want an in-law reason why Xyz got the most amount of monsters compared to the rest? Well, it's most likely because Yuya and Yuto actually spent the longest time merged together. That's just a theory anyway. When all four of the dimensional counterparts came back together and reunited into Zark, he corrupted his original dragons into the Supreme King Dragon Starving Venom, the Supreme King Dragon Clear Wing, the Supreme King Dragon Dark Rebellion, and the Supreme King Dragon Odd Eyes. These monsters would act as servants to their ultimate boss monster. Supreme King Zark, made from the combination of the four dimension dragons. 
Its effect is, if this card is special summoned, destroy all cards your opponent controls. It cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. Your opponent cannot target this card with card effects. When this card destroys a monster by battle, you can special summon one Supreme King Dragon Monster from your deck or extra deck. If this card in the monster zone is destroyed by battle or card effect, you can place this card in your pendulum zone. Its pendulum effect is fusion, synchro and exceeds monsters your opponent controls cannot activate their effects. Once per turn, when a card is added from the main deck to your opponent's hand, except by drawing it, you can destroy that card. While a pendulum fusion hybrid in the real world, in the anime it is actually made from a new type of summon. which was an amalgamation of every single summoning style, reflected by the card's border. Like all of the monsters that made up this monster had their own booster packs, which they served as the cover cards for, this monster too had its own, Maximum Crisis, which was released in 2017. This monster does have a downgraded form, called Supreme King Dragon Dark Worm, which actually helps to summon Zark by getting the Supreme King Gate Zero and Infinity onto the field. Fun fact, by the way, Supreme King Dragon Zark has many references to older Yu-Gi-Oh series, such as its name Zark being a reference to both Zork and Zone, two prominent Yu-Gi-Oh villains. Also, the two spells we mentioned, Supreme King Gate Zero and Supreme King Gate Infinity, are references to the Darkness from Yu-Gi-Oh GX, who used two traps with almost identical names. Also, its name of Supreme King, well, that's a reference to the Supreme King from the same series. Also, Zark being merged with a giant dragon monster's head happens quite a lot in Yu-Gi-Oh, you'd be surprised. Oh, and this monster and all of the evil dimension dragons appear in the trap card Supreme Rage. Now, believe it or not, this monster isn't actually the boss monster in the manga. Instead, it is All Eyes Phantom Dragon, known in the Japanese as God Eyes Phantom Dragon. Its effect is it must be special summoned by tributing all monsters you control, a minimum of two, including a Dragon Pendulum monster. Once per turn, during damage calculation, if this card battles an opponent's monster, double this card's current attack until the end of the turn. Once per turn, when your opponent activates a spell, trap, or effect, quick effect, you can send one spell or trap you control to the grave to negate the activation. Its pendulum effect was once per turn at the end of the damage step. If your dragon pendulum monster attacked an opponent's monster, you can activate this effect. It can attack again in a row. You cannot declare an attack the turn you activate this effect except with that monster. Since this monster was made by tributing all the manga dragons together for its summon, as such, it has absorbed many of the physical characteristics of each of them, like the tail of Dark Anthelion, the wings of Clearwing, the horns of Starving Venomy, and the orbs and chest of Odd Eyes Phantom Dragon. And, believe it or not, there is one more ultimate form, and that is Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. Known the Japanese as Super Celestial New Dragon, Odd Eyes Revolution Dragon. It must be Pendulum Summoned or Special Summoned by tributing three dragon monsters, one Fusion, one Synchro, and one Xyz. You can discard this card and pay 500 life points, add one level eight or lower dragon pendulum monster from your deck to your hand. Gains attack and defense equal to half of your opponent's life points. Once per turn, you can pay half of your life points, shuffle all other cards from the field and the graveyard into the deck. Its pendulum effect is you cannot pendulum summon monsters except dragon monsters. This effect cannot be negated. You can target one dragon fusion, synchro or exceeds monster in your graveyard, destroy this card, and if you do, special summon that target. This monster was created after Odd Eyes resonated with Yuya's deck. It was summoned by sacrificing all of its counterparts, and as such, becomes the true ace and boss of Yuya's deck, and the card that was able to defeat Reggie in the final duel of the series. And with that guys, that is the Dimension Dragons done! Let me know what you thought in the comment section below, don't forget to leave a like if you fancy. But before we go, let's give a huge shout out to the people that help make these videos possible. Thank you first and foremost to my Platinum backers, who give that a little bit extra, Nemochan77, Geeks Cornucopia, and Omar Lopez, as well to my YouTube and Gold backers, Michael Waklorski, Silver Defender, Goosey Q, Ignis Drasil, Jester Rooney, Joseph Y, Yu-Gi-Oh Everything, Queen Elizabeth Denise Leggin, Jeremy Pontier, Kobe Selvaniogam, and Colton Ripmanic, as well to all my Silver backers, Thank you all for helping support this channel. You're awesome, and I appreciate it. Thank you very much. Catch you next time.